and for Katie Chats here at the opening night of the Real World Film Festival in downtown Toronto with filmmaker Brian Mifsud. How does it feel to be here at opening night? It's very exciting. I've been to Real World uh, for the past few years. Um, I've had a film in it before, but I've never had my own film, so it's extremely ex exciting. And this is your very first film that you made. What was the whole process like, and was it challenging, rewarding? Tell me a bit about it. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty exciting at the beginning, and then challenging and scary afterwards. Uh, I've never written anything before like this either, so uh, the writing process was difficult, even for a 10-page script. I think the hardest thing is to try and keep it at 10 pages. Um, and then, you know, finding your actors, finding the funding, and, and finding the people involved to do it, because I've only, I've only ever been the person that people call to, you know, I've never had to call out to, to get work, so. And you did this film through Ya. Yeah. Tell me how Ya yeah works in facilitating the making of these short films. Yeah, well, uh, Ya yeah stands for Young Emerging Actors Assembly, and it's a group of uh, ACTRA members who are actors uh, who play between the ages of 17 and 27 years old. And uh, last year they started an initiative with Real World Film Festival uh, to allow some of our, our work to show. And uh, this year they took a huge jump and allowed 10 of our films, or rather nine of our films in the festival. Uh, and they opened it up to us to write scripts for it. And uh, so I said, why not? It's, it's, it's a good way to, to light a match under my behind and, and get the writing bug going. So I did that. I submitted my script. I did that in a week. Uh, they liked it. I went through many rewrites. And here we are. How did you come up with the title, A Man is a Man is a Man? Yeah, I actually had, I think, eight different titles. <laughs> I couldn't decide. Uh, and everyone seemed to like really like that one a lot. It jumped out of them. I also had a race to the finish, and uh, what else did I have? Just men um, in general. Yeah, that one just stood out for everyone. And what sets the Real World Film Festival apart from other festivals in your mind? Yeah, well, I love I love the fact that they they do. It's a real film festival. It's about real people, and it, and it shows the people that are in our community, you know, and and that's their real focus is multiculturalism, and and uh, we we made sure that that was in our film along with uh, making it Canadian as well. And where's the best place to find out more information on A Man is a Man is a Man and the festival online? Uh, best place for the festival is realworld.ca and uh, for ourselves, amanmovie.com and you'll find everything there is to know about us. Perfect. Thank you so much, Brian. It was lovely chatting with you again and enjoy the festival. Thank you. Always a pleasure. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Real World Film Festival in downtown Toronto.